week, Aid on Your Side is helping you pamper your pet. More than one and a half million dogs and two million cats are living as pets in the U.S. Now, that's a whole lot of love, but also a whole lot of pet hair, and it can be costly, too. Well, this morning, Leslie Lacey visits Health Mutt Pet Store for the professional scoop on grooming our furry friends at home. Meet Misty the groomer and Spencer the pooch. For starters, Misty advises putting your pet on a table. She recommends a brush and a metal comb for thorough grooming. Slippers, they can go right over the mats, and you're just brushing over the mat. And you're not even breaking it up. So it feels like you're doing a good job on top. But then this would tell you you're stuck. And shaving blades are tailored to different dogs. They're not very sharp. You can put your finger on them. This is likely to cut if you're going too fast or too rough or the mats are too tight. And you'll usually want to go with the green of the hair. Dogs have thick nails, so professional nail clippers are a must. The click. Okay. Once you hit that, they'll bleed. Oh. So taking tiny pieces at a time makes it so you won't click them. Cats are naturally self-cleaning animals, but an occasional bath can reduce allergens. Whenever they lick themselves, for years and years without getting a bath, it's actually depositing more saliva onto them. And if your cat hates water, like my Valentino, try a dry shampoo. And for those of us who wish to cut down on allergens and have our cat shaved like a lion, well, you should only have a professional do it. Their skin is so thin. One tiny little nick can tear into a big sore, and you may have to go to the vet to get it fixed. But you can certainly trim their nails. Just do it when Kitty is sleeping. All right, my little lion, it's time to go home. Are we still friends? Are we still friends? Yeah. I tell you what, it took a couple days, but uh, Valentino finally came around. We're friends again. Now, a grooming session will typically cost between about $45 to $80, and you can save money over time, but the initial home grooming materials will probably set you back at least $200. So you have to decide if the savings and the money is worth the time and the patience <laughs> that you need in order to Poor Valentino. Yeah, I, I ran into a cat in West Tampa, <laughs> and he told me that the word on the street is Valentino is still very mad at you. Well, he Listen, feels naked. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I keep him warm, and there's another cat there, but it cuts down on allergies. And, and you got all that like, saliva off cats. of him. Yeah, Oof. you know, but I just do it once a year, and it's not so bad. But I didn't know that their, their skin was so thin, mm -hmm. so you're not supposed to shave a cat. You need to go ahead and yeah, take it. Definitely try to figure out what you're doing before you give it a try. You don't want to hurt <laughs> your pet. I clip their nails when they're sleeping. <laughs> All right.